Hello Dreamers, how are you doing? In this video, I'll talk about the Yukon Community Pilot Program. Very recently launched and too many people asking about it. So I decided to make a complete video on this program. So in this video, I'll talk about the overview of this program, the eligibility criteria, the process. I'll tell you about the job bank as well. Basically, all you need to know about this Yukon Community Pilot Program in less than 10 minutes time. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad and I regularly upload Canadian immigration and lifestyle videos. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please consider subscribing and pressing that bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, before we discuss about the pilot program, let me tell you a little about Yukon. Yukon is one of the three Canadian territories. It is towards the western part of Canada. Canada has basically got 10 different provinces and three territories and Yukon is the smallest Canadian territory and also it is the least populated Canadian province or territory. Only around 40,000 people live in the complete territory and that is majorly because of its harsh weather and of course when we talk about Canada we mean the cold weather. In winters the temperature in Yukon go to minus 30 degree pretty easily and minus 40 degree at times as well. So it is very very harsh and that is the reason why not many people live in Yukon. The primary city is Whitehorse. Now this is the main city and most of the people actually live in this area. Around 27 to 28 thousand people live only in Whitehorse. So majority of the population lives in this particular city. Now this is not a geography class so I won't tell you more about this particular territory or he'll switch the video. Um, let's discuss quickly about the Yukon Community Pilot Program. So let's start with the overview. Now Yukon Community Pilot is a new stream of the Yukon Nominee Program. I haven't yet made a video about the Yukon Nominee Program but I'll soon create that video about the YNP which is Yukon Nominee Program. Now the Yukon Community Pilot or YCP was launched just last month in July 2020 and because it's a pilot program it will run for three years. They'll look for the results and then they'll decide of making it a permanent program. There are six participating communities including Whitehorse. Now the most important part about this pilot program is that this pilot program does not provide you the Canadian PR. It's actually for the work permit. It will provide you the two year location restricted open work permit for those awaiting PR through the Yukon nominee program. Now what is this about? Yes, this is something which makes this pretty complicated. If you have the nomination from Yukon through the Yukon nominee program, so in that case you get the nomination, you apply for the PR, but there would be certain time of uh, 10 months, 1 year, 1 and a half year when you'll have to wait to get the PR. So in the meanwhile you can actually come to Yukon and you can live and work over there. So this Yukon community pilot will actually get you the work permit. Now this work permit will be for 2 years and it will be location restricted. So you can only work in Yukon, you cannot work anywhere else in Canada. But this will be an open work permit which means that it is not specific to any particular employer. So this is a good part. Now this work permit will let you work for up to three different employers in one of the participating communities. Another good point is that the LMIA is not required. LMIA is actually an approval that you need to get if you get a job in Canada while you're living outside of Canada. But in this case you don't have to care about this. So let's not talk about this in detail. So the good part is that there's no LMIA, it will give you an open work permit which would be valid for two years but the bad part is that this is a work permit which is only for those people who are awaiting the PR whose PR is in process and they've got a nomination through the Yukon nominee program. Now let's talk about the eligibility. So to qualify for the work permit you must obviously have the nomination letter from the government of Yukon. 
have two or three eligible job offers. So this is what makes it even more complex and complicated. You must have a signed letter of support from the government of Yukon as well. Now about the job offer, it must all be in the same participating Yukon community. So you cannot get a job offer from one community and another job offer from the other community. So if you're getting the two job offers, it should be from the same community. You must add up to at least 30 hours of work a week and it should be a non-seasonal job. The wage must meet or exceed the minimum wage criteria, which should be $14 per hour. And your work experience must match the duties of the jobs offered. So this is what makes it even more complicated that you need to have two different job offers. So guys, I have been telling this over several portals that Yukon Community Pilot, there's just a hype around this. It is not one of those pilot programs that can actually get you the PR or the work permit. It is very, very, very difficult to actually get it. First of all, you have to get a nomination from Yukon. If you've got a nomination, then you have to get the job offer. Yes, there's a job portal through which you can actually apply for those jobs. We'll discuss about it later in this video. But having said that, of course, you would understand that how difficult it is, first of all, to get the uh, provincial nomination. And after that, to get two or three job offers. So it is a very difficult process. So, and to be very frank with you, I won't actually motivate you to go for this because I know that many people or actually most of the people would actually be disappointed at the last. So I won't actually suggest you getting excited about this Yukon Community Pilot Program because this is very, very, very difficult to get. First of all, you have to get the uh, provincial nomination. And while your PR is in progress, then you have to apply for the jobs. You should get at least two job offers to be eligible for this particular program. But yes, if some people do it, then we can discuss about the process as well. The process is online. Uh, it's pretty simple. You just have to go and create an account, fill and upload your country specific documents, pay your fee and submit your application. However, you'll have to submit a lot of forms in there a lot of documents in there so yes going into the process it would be a it would be a time consuming task but yes if you have got the job offer and if you have the nomination from uh, yukon in that case it is a lot easier task to just uh, get the work permit okay now let's talk about the job bank from where you can apply those jobs in Yukon. Okay, so this is the job bank that I was talking about. This is the uh, job bank from Government of Canada. Uh, in Yukon, you can see list of all these uh, jobs that are available at the moment. Bunch of jobs that have been updated recently. You see the minimum uh, hourly is around $14. And of, of course, we see uh, more jobs with uh, even better salaries. Uh, you, if you belong to one of these, uh, you know, job descriptions, you can actually go on to apply for, for these jobs. Apart from that, there's uh, another job bank, which is uh, for Yukon. From the Yukon government itself, uh, you can go in there, you can actually look for jobs. You can see most of the jobs here are there in Whitehorse because that is the primary city. So you can definitely go on uh, to go on to apply for, the jo for those jobs. But yes, I would again say the same thing that there's no IELTS requirement, there's no minimum funds requirement, there's no LMIA requirement, but still it is a very difficult um, task to achieve getting the, that nomination letter and then applying for jobs, getting the job offer, then applying for the work permit. It's a very, very difficult job. So I'm not trying to demotivate you, but I'm just trying to tell you the reality. Is it actually worth it or not? I would say no. But that was a personal opinion. Let me know what you think of this. Is it actually an achievable task uh, for you to actually get the PR through this process or move to Canada through this route. Please let me know through the comment section below. Also, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video. Thanks again.